Hi, I'm Gretchen Massey, standing here with Steven, the official, for real, cowboy and former cast member of Big Brother Season 10. So, uh, welcome back, obviously. Thank you, thank you. Is it weird being back here in the backyard? It was very strange. When I walked through that gate right there into this backyard, it was like brought back really strange feelings. It's, it's almost made me a little sick in my stomach, you know? You, you loved the experience in the house, but yet the fact that it's almost like a prison, you know, never leaving when you have to walk back into it, those feelings sort of creep back on you. The walls start to close in. Now, you are one of the few cast members that has also seen the season. Yes. So, do you think Dan deserved to win tonight, having seen the entire game? Absolutely. I was so thrilled that Dan won. Um, we've been saying since I got out the house, I wanted Dan to win. Angie's been saying it. Brian's been saying it. All of us think he played the absolute best game ever. He was so strategic. He looked two steps ahead, always. Everything he said and did was very well thought out. I think he totally deserves it. I was thrilled to see it be unanimous, too. So obviously that's who you would have cast your vote for. Completely. Is there anything that surprised you about the remaining players? Like, Did it surprise you that Jerry made it to final three? Uh, that's a hard question to answer. Not really surprised as much because every, I knew we knew from the first day he was going to end up being one of those people that just kept going and going because everyone knew that he was an easy person to beat. So it was like you. I knew from the first day, I'm like, if we don't get him out right now, he's going to make it week after week. And that's what he did. That's what he did. And I think he had really had real no real skills or games plan or strategy. I think he just they were just like, as soon as we want him out, he's out. And that's they stabbed Keisha in the back because they knew he'd be the first one to get out. If you had made it to the final two, who would you put yourself sitting next to? Who could you be? Oh my gosh, that's tough. Of the people that were left in the house, you know, like towards the end, I wouldn't want to be next to Dan or Memphis. Um, probably, you know, like Keisha, because a lot of the girls didn't like her. I think she could have probably been someone either to eat. Angie, a lot of the girls didn't like her. Not that I don't like those people, but I think if I was sitting next to them, I could have possibly pulled the votes away. So. Okay, now based on your experience inside this house and how the game went for you, mm -hmm. do you have any advice for anyone who's hoping to get on the show next year once um, they get on once they get on the show go in the house with your game face on I walked in that house thinking it was gonna be a fun experience I started playing games and having fun with people but I did I, I totally lost focus on why I was there um, when you walk in that door every single word you say every step you make should be planned and calculated okay and speaking about when you first walked in the door and you met these people mm -hmm. saw them uh -huh. who did you vote for in that very first super secret pick an HOH I voted for Rennie you did I did I voted for Rennie she looked so sweet and I thought she's so nice and I I thought, you know what, I'll be able to like get to know her really quickly and there's no way she would put me on the block the first week. So Smart. Yeah. Okay, so you know how to read people. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Who out of this cast isn't the way that they look? Like who's Jerry. surprised? <laughs> Without a doubt. He um, he acts like he's a sweet old man. Um, he's very scary to be around. He's, he's creepy. <laughs> Creepy, all right. You know, and a lot of people didn't see that CBS primetime show. You know, they portrayed him very well. When you spend time in the house with him and when you watch him on Big Brother After Dark and and the live feeds, you saw a very dark side of him. He just can be very mean and hateful to people and say really awful things. So, do you think he's going to be a big contender for popular Halloween costumes this month? <laughs> I don't <laughs> that, know. That would be awesome. Let's go as Jerry. Maybe I'll go as Jerry. Yeah, as that Jerry. would be a lot of fun. Final question. Yes. How did you do in the San Diego road? Rodeo because we heard about that. Um, I actually did not do so well. Uh, I rode bulls two days, Saturday and Sunday. I got bucked off both days. The second day, I got thrown into the gate and hit my elbow and arm, and so I'm really kind of sore today. Well, Stephen, but, um, I'd like to spin that from my perspective because you rode a bull, you've been thrown around, and you're standing here smiling, so I consider that a champion. I'm here with the champion, Stephen. Big Brother Season 10. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great talking to you. Thank you.